It might sound a little crazy, but I needed his help. I have something to tell you. It's really important. You really have to listen. Well, you can save it. You've already said everything you need to know. You think I'm a spoiled brat. I get it. You know, Abigail, I realized something. You finally realize it's not okay to be mean to someone. Well, especially before you know their story. Well, yes. 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 I don't know your story. So I'm gonna tell you mine. So I may seem like a super typical bully that's like always bossy and mean or I don't know. <laughs> no, that sounds like you. <laughs> well, I wasn't always like that. Believe it or not, I used to be nice and really happy. Well, I am happy, but not as then. I've always been really picked on. And for as long as I can remember, I didn't have many friends. People used to look at me weird, but it was in sixth grade, everything changed. I was holding this presentation and I was so nervous. I was afraid that they were going to do something to me because I've always been the weirdo. During the presentation, it made me look like an easy target. They threw things at me and they called me names. Be louder. Molly? African country in, in Africa, and it's the seventh part. Good, please. In just short term, it was so bad that I actually ran out the classroom crying, and it made me even more of an easy target. story. I hated it. The feeling still haunts me today. They were picking on me for some reason, whatsoever reason, and making up their own stories about me, not even letting me to explain. And even if I tried, they wouldn't even give me the chance. They'd nobody believe me. They ignored me because they had already their own opinions. They've already defined me. The feeling of being put in some 12-year-old asshole's makeup story instead of my own is the worst feeling in the world. So I'm here if you want to tell me your story because I don't know your story and I don't want to turn into these 12 year old assholes Slowly, It's hard to say that I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep Cause everything